What's up guys, AC Card Shark back again, back with uh, baby, baby Card Shark here. It's been a while since she's been on one of the videos, so I figured I would show her and uh, show you how big she's gotten. And uh, she's holding her, her Elmo here. Can you, can you say hi? Can you say hi? <laughs> hi, hi, hi. She's eating Elmo apparently. Anyway, um, we're about to go out and go on a Goodwill hunt and uh, see hi and see uh, what we can find. I haven't been to the Goodwills in a while, so we're gonna hit the one in Hi. Allentown. Hi. Hi. We're gonna hit the one in Allentown and then the one in Bethlehem and see what we can come across. And uh, we'll, you know, I'll come back to the game room and show you what I picked up. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, Goodwill didn't really hold too much for me, so uh, I am moving on to GameStop in the off chance they have something cheap. And uh, I'm going to take a look in there and then uh, go back to the game room. I did pick up a couple things at the first Goodwill. Um, just It just goes to show you why I stopped going to Goodwill because they really don't have that much. So I'm uh, going to cut right now and go to GameStop. All right, guys, back from the Goodwill. Uh, as you could, as you saw, I should say, um, there really wasn't a lot there. Um, pretty much I'm entitling this video RIP Goodwill because it's not going to be anytime soon I go back looking for games because this is the first time I actually bought anything in probably the past five trips there. Uh, they always have the same like high school musical for PS2. And um, as you saw from the, the second Goodwill, that was the Bethlehem Goodwill. Um, most of their games were just in that glass case and they were just all thrown in there. You can't even see what they have, can't see how much they are. Uh, you have to basically ask someone to open the case and go through them with you, which I'm not doing. So um, the Allentown Goodwill you know, had them out and had them accessible. Uh, as you saw, Dog's Life, um, that was a steal. Uh, I already have the game, so I didn't buy it. But for three bucks, uh, if you guys have never played Dog's Life for the PS2, uh, do yourself a favor and try to pick up a copy of that game because that, that was, I mean... If I hadn't, if I didn't have the game, I would have picked it up in a heartbeat. So, um, but uh, you know, they had they had some selection, but nothing great. I remember you, I used to go in there and find, you know, like when Pixel Sandwich was here, I went in and I, I bought like 13 box Genesis games. You know, I think people are are getting more more into eBay selling rather than just donating to Goodwill and uh, Goodwill. A lot of times, even if they have something, their prices are too high. So, uh, anyway, enough of my ranting and raving. Uh, by the way, GameStop had absolutely nothing good. Uh, they they did have Persona Persona 4 Golden for the Vita, which I wanted to pick up. Uh, it was like 17 bucks, but it was a generic case, and you, you guys know I don't buy generic cases, so I'll uh, I'll have to find that another time. Anyway, um, in this this bag right here, I did pick up one game from the Allentown Goodwill, the first the first one I stopped in uh, for the PS2. You, you saw me pick it up off the shelf. I ended up getting it for for two dollars and ninety seven cents. Uh, that game is Mojo for the PlayStation 2. 
Uh, apparently it's just a puzzle game, uh, challenging, graphically stunning, and addictive 3D puzzle adventure. It tests both your mind and your reflexes. So, uh, for three bucks, it seemed, it seemed like it was kind of fun. The only problem I have is that they put the sticker right on the spine, which always sucks. So I'm going to have to try to get that off somehow uh, without ruining the case. If not, I'm just going to have to find a new PS2 case, maybe. I don't know. But um, it does come complete. Booklet and disc are both in there. And uh, the disc, I believe, was in pretty decent shape. It's a little scratched up, but it'll, it'll play. So that was the only game I picked up was from the Allentown Goodwill. That was Mojo. And then um, the one thing I did pick up, um, which uh, actually it's two different items. Um, I, I'm looking for ways to store my games better. Uh, currently I have a shelf which just has all the cartridges stacked on it and I'm looking to try to not do that. I'm trying to have them like tucked away a little bit better. Um, from what I've read on the internet, people use these to store loose Genesis cartridges, which I have a, a lot of. Uh, but that is a cassette tape holder. So, you know, the one that the drawer comes out, I'll, I'll take it out and show you. It has like the little ridges in there for cassette tapes. From what I've read on the internet and different forums and everything else, um, they are really good for storing your Genesis games. And being that they do have a top spine, you can put them in there, alphabetize them, and just pull the drawer out and pick your game out, and they're all nice and organized. Um, there's a second one in this bag here. It's identical to this one. But as you can see, I paid uh, $2 a piece for them. I've been looking them up on eBay and just did just different places to find them and they're they're all like 20 bucks online for this. And I'm like I'm not paying 20 bucks, I'll keep them on a shelf. Uh but for 2 bucks a piece, $4 for the two of them. Um yeah, I picked I picked that up to to just kind of uh help organize my my loose cartridges. So um, that was basically it, guys. Uh, you know, sorry for the lack of, of pickups, and you know, I tried. I, I drove 20 minutes west to get to the Allentown, which which I'm glad I did because that's the only place I found anything. Um, and then Bethlehem had absolutely nothing that was of any interest. And um, and then I went to GameStop, and again, it was just all the normal BS there. So, uh, but that's gonna wrap up this this Goodwill hunting episode. Hopefully, you enjoyed uh, seeing my daughter in the beginning, at least. And uh, like I said, it's going to be a while before I go back there because it's just a waste of time and gas. And, you know, the Allentown one is, like I said, it's a good 20-minute drive for me uh, one way. So um, on the off chance that they, you know, may have something to, to, to buy. So, um, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode of, of Goodwill Pickups or as I, like, as I titled this one, R.I.P. Goodwill. Uh, Till next time, guys. AC Car Shark. Take care. All right, guys, just a really quick add-on. I, I know I already signed the video off, but uh, just to show you guys, there's one of the new tape deck holders. Um, here's a Loose Genesis cartridge, Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. And uh, just to show you guys, uh, it only works with these standard cartridges. Um, the bigger cartridges obviously don't fit. Um, and I tried N64 and stuff, and they didn't fit either. So this is basically just going to be surely for Genesis games. But if you, if you take a look at uh, the little grooves there, and you put them in... It does have a little bit of wiggle room, but it does fit quite nicely. So I mean, if you put, if you put it in here, then you well again, if it'll it'll be full, so it won't it won't fall forward like that. But you you, you can close it up real nice. You can pull the drawer out, and again, it won't fall backwards because you'll have cartridges in there. But you can you know see the see the title real nice, and then you can actually alphabetize and keep them in nice shape. So um, that that is definitely if you guys are looking for a way to uh, store your Genesis cartridges, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, you can just stack them up and just pull the drawer out and find your game and go and play real nice and easy. So just a little hint, guys. Till next time, AC Card Shark. Take care.